Welcome to Path of Exile. This is a little interlude to the ongoing gameplay for Nikita da Assassin, the Skion Archer that I am currently playing. Now, the reason for this is I decided it was about time that I actually share a little bit of what is going on with this character. So we'll just pop into the inventory. Fairly empty looking. But what we recently picked up was the Miracle Dark Blunt Arrow Quiver. This is epic, uh, for this level anyway. Well, I think it is epic. Others may disagree, but I am finding drops very few and far between. This one increases the stun duration of the enemies by 35%. I think that's pretty cool. I'm not sure how much stun uh, Nikita actually does, but yeah it seems all right it also adds a little bit of physical damage uh, the base is two the previous quiver I had was one so overall that should help it also adds some lightning damage which is awesome and the plus nine percent to global critical strike multiplier now I could pop out to wiki and have a look but let me know in the comments below is that nine percent the chance for a critical strike or the damage of the critical strike i don't actually know i feel quite embarrassed that i don't know but let me know down in the comments and of course a little bit of lightning resistance which is always good now we also have a new headpiece and it's called the Healthy Leather Hood of Light. Now it's only a blue, so it's not anything spectacular, but the reason I liked it is it doubled the evasion rating. Uh, I think more than doubled actually. I think the last one was 42. And it has the same gem configuration. So that is fantastic. I really do like that. Uh, we haven't been able to upgrade this and everything else is the same as we've had for ages, including the bow. Uh, DPS, if I bring up the character map, uh, character map, character screen, and we go to our mainstay items, which is Caustic Arrow, I use this a lot. It's 150 DPS and quite a good chance to hit and it's very fast, well, I think it's fast. I, I'm pretty sure this is actually quite good for the level. I mean, we are only level 22. We're still in Act 2. So it does seem that we are able to handle most mobs. Uh, all the other stats at this level really don't matter. And the other one we sometimes use, or actually, sorry, wrong one, sometimes use, is the rain of arrows and that is 121 i don't use it enough i think if i used it more it would be something i would really get the hang of and then of course we have our absolute mainstay and its dps is much lower but the cool thing is because this is the one no pierce support so basically the arrows keep on going uh, they hit one target and they're uh, likely to hit the one behind them as well. And that's really good for controlling groups. So even though the DPS is quite a bit lower, it is very, very effective. And without going too much depth into this, because I've already covered it, we are very close to getting to our two targets. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six levels. We will have this target complete. So by level 28, we should have this. And I really think that will hold us in good stead for the next part of the adventure. Uh, our evasion rating is below a thousand, and it's only giving us 59% chance to evade an attack. Now, my belief is for this build, I don't care. Uh, her job is to kite and if she can kite well then having a little bit lower evasion rating should be all right now obviously haven't tried this with any decent bosses yet uh, brutus was easy 
and we haven't had anything really challenging yet but hopefully hopefully my theory is right and we can focus purely on evasion and just simply not getting hit those two factors hopefully we can go all the way through to act 10 we shall see let me know down in the comments below what do you think am i doing it wrong should i start looking at armor and energy shield let me know if you've enjoyed this episode of path of exile do hit that like hit that subscribe share the video and do leave me comments you've been watching smells bad gaming Thank you very much.